Oh, I love the end of the year. It's my favorite time of year. That's why we're doing pumpkin pie. How to make grandma's pumpkin pie. And this is honestly a grandma recipe, I promise. It's not mine, but uh, I want to talk about this first before we get started. Pumpkins for pumpkin pie. There's the regular carving pumpkins and then there's pumpkin pie pumpkins. I didn't know this. So I was talking to the guy that produced and I'm like, why does it say pie pumpkin? Because the smaller ones are the ones you want to use for your pumpkin pie recipe. So don't get the big gigantic ones. And this is just a guess. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, because you always do. Um, but when produce is smaller, it packs a lot more flavor, more punch. If you've ever had like a, a small tomato from the garden and then a big giant one that grew like crazy, if you bite into this, it's gonna be sweeter, uh, more robust than this. It's almost like God says, you only get this much flavor, so we're gonna spread you around a wider area. It's not gonna be as flavorful. Does that make sense? So I'm guessing that's why you smaller pumpkins, they have more flavor, all right? Just a guess. You guys ready? Let's get started. Okay, first thing you wanna do is take the sticker off. Have you guys ever cooked with the sticker on? Uh, neither have I. Okay, second thing, take the stem off. Just break the stem. Break the... Oh. Uh, we'll try this one. All right, well, that one came off. Try this way. Ow! Oh! <laughs> Sorry. Okay, this is interesting. I walked away to get the knife, and it's oozing juice right out of the stem area. Kind of creepy. <laughs> Perfect for Halloween. All right. So we're gonna finally use a cleaver on the shell. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. Normally you would use a cleaver and you put it right in the middle and then a rubber mallet, right? I don't have a rubber mallet. So I'm gonna go like, I'm gonna do a regular hammer and get a towel. So what you wanna do is you fold your towel up. Okay. So I don't damage my knife. I'm gonna put this right here. Right there, okay? I'm gonna lay that gently over there, a nice pad, get as thick as you can, and just gently tap so you don't damage the knife. There you go. Let's see how we're doing here. All right, there you go. And then finish it off. Finish it off. Finish. There you go, finish it off. Now you just wanna take a spoon and clean out all the insides with a spoon. Grab yourself a cookie sheet with parchment paper and go ahead and salt these. Just get your hand in there, take a pinch. There you go. Now place them face down. You're gonna cook these in the oven. You're gonna roast these at 400 degrees for 30 to 45 minutes. Just take a paring knife and gently slide it into the skin. If it goes in without any resistance, it's done, okay? And then bring it back out here. Don't do anything else till I get back with you when they come out of the oven. All right, let me show you what I'm talking about. This knife should go straight in, watch. Just without any resistance, right there. So I got all four sitting out cooling right now. And I want you to do me a favor, don't touch them. Don't touch them for one solid hour. That is very important. Then we're gonna scoop them out. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, so the next step is to just take your spoon. You can take a big metal spoon and just gently scoop out all the meat. Kind of like we're taking the meat out of an avocado. Man, this smells so sweet. All right, now we're going to place all of our stuff into our food processor. And we're gonna put it on low. And get it nice, smooth, and creamy. All right, let's take a look. Turn it off. Is it all smooth and beautiful? Yes, it is. And that is what it should look like right there. So that was like the hardest part. And that was super easy. I didn't have to do anything but wait. So now I'm gonna clean up. While I'm cleaning up, 
I want you guys to go down to the comment section below because I'm giving away three copies of the best pies from across the country, Pie Town. If you live in the USA, I have three copies. They're up for grabs. Put it down below that you want a copy of Pie Town. You gotta say, Jack, I want a copy of Pie Town and I'll mail these to you, all right? Once again, you gotta be in the US. I apologize to everybody else, but I got three copies to give away. We're doing it right now. All right, here we go. Two cups, pumpkin. I got the nutmeg, the ginger, and the cinnamon, and the salt in here. And I've done a double batch, okay? Grandma says if you double the spices, it'll be a little bit darker and twice as flavorful. So the single recipe with the normal spices is down below. I just put a little extra in there. And when the recipe asks for uh, beaten eggs, a lot of people will put the eggs in and then beat them. I'm not going to do that. I don't know why. I feel like if I beat them first and then get them all mixed up nice, it blends in better. Pour it in. Nice. Get our brown sugar in there. Our evaporated milk. Pour that in there. All right, let's get it all mixed in now. Oh my goodness, look. Jack is using a frozen pie crust. Oh my God, that is just an embarrassment. That is complete. All right guys, get it all out of your system. All right, you're good? All right, this way I can continue with my recipe. Okay, so we're gonna pour it in now. All right, you're gonna bake this at 425 for 15 minutes. Then you're gonna drop it down to 350 for about 40 to 45 minutes, depending on your oven. Keep it on it, do a little toothpick test. If it goes in and comes out with nothing on it, you're good. Let's get this in right now. Okay guys, there it is right there. A Little darker than normal because I doubled the seasoning, but we're gonna let this cool before we even try and cut into it and taste it. Let's cut into this. Remember to put your name down below in the comment section. Let me know you want one of my three copies of Pie Town. If you haven't seen this, look at this. Look how beautiful the pictures are in this book. They're amazing. Absolutely gorgeous pies, guys. Look at that. Look at that. See, now you're running to get one of these. That is such a good book. All right. So I'm going to do a hack job on this because I'm a guy. So let's just cut right through. Do, 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 do. Here we go. That one's Jack Jr.'s. Yeah, I'll take the one that's all messed up with a little drizzle. All right, all right try it. How's that whipped cream? <laughs> it's great. That whipped cream's great, man. I nailed it, huh? Easily. Mm-hmm. All right. You ready? Pumpkin. Oh, those are some cheap plates. My fork went right through it. Here's two. You ready? Here we go. All right, so how is it? It's good. I mean, you're obviously woofing it down faster than you're, I can talk to you, so. You're woofing it like, faster. It, is it good? Do you like it that way? Because mm -hmm. I made it darker with more uh, spice. Yeah. Yeah? All right, guys. This is a home run. It's really good. You think we should let the ladies come get theirs or let yeah, them? Yeah, sure. Or should we eat theirs? We should eat theirs. Should we eat theirs? We should eat theirs. All right, we got to go because we're going to get in trouble right now. See you later. See you. You ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Quick, before they get in here. No! Nope. <laughs> Don't even, man. The last thing we do.